My name is Tony, I'm a designer and my job is to think, create and uh, design innovative concepts and intelligent products through new uses. I was interested in different practices and especially of connected objects within the Internet of Things because it is something that is booming right now. They are called smart because they, um, they are connected to, to Internet and they share information among themselves. They are present in health, education, home automation, sports and many other fields. I look especially around the kitchen because this is something quite traditional and contemporary uh, at once because we have the grandmother recipe and the sharing of millions and millions of recipes on, on internet. And we can say that cooking is something that everyone has to learn to do at some stage. So these inspired the smart kitchen projects, uh, reflection and the new product creation raising new uses, especially a culinary assistant that enable to propose the creation of recipe at home through different tools, different functions and uh, different use. Contact Discovery allowed me to discover the different existing tools related to the kitchen. It was necessary to define what was a culinary assistant. I identified brands, prices, users' preferences, stylistic trends doing a benchmark and a competitive review. After that, I explored the universe of connected food, trying to understand what could be the benefits and what could be the future of connected home cooking. So, an existing use reflection enables the identification of essential functions, the futile ones, those to improve or those to be invented. So finally, from a new usage reflection and proposition, four innovative directions emerge, leading to four different concepts. At this stage, the idea was to propose for each axis of research an innovative concept in order to present and compare them and then to select the most inter interesting one. We can say that from the creation of the first concept, the first idea, to uh, the finished parts and general assembly of the product, the essential tool beyond the pencil is 3D. And for this project, I use Katia Creative Designer and Katia Mechanical and Shape Designer. These allowed me to cover the whole process of creation in 3D, both for the creative design and the mechanical engineering. In the Kachia creative designer role, I use 3D sketches for concept ideation. In the natural sketch application, I can use the pencil to draw in 3D different curves, colors and images of each concept. As a reference or as an inspiration, 3D curves are used to transpose my ID into solid concepts. For this kind of modelization, I use other creative designer applications such as Imagine and Shape and Natural Shape. Those tools also give me the opportunity to create, in less than 20 minutes, a 3D environment, a kitchen, in which I integrated the four different concepts. To choose the best concepts, 
I then created realistic pictures with the live rendering application. After testing the excitement generated by each proposal, I chose to develop Nestor because of the usefulness of its new functions and its ability to fit into a contemporary environment as a connected butler, a smart majordome. Once the concept is chosen, a further search of the existing components took place. It allowed me to identify all the components into a multifunctional robot and thus imagine Nestor architecture in different configurations. The notion of balance was already in mind at this stage of the technical research. The motor, for example, which is the main component of the product, had to be well positioned. At concept stage, I explored the architecture in 3D by creating colored rough surfaces easily modifiable. These 3D modeling modes save me time and facilitate the technical exploration. In Natural Shape App, experimentation resulted very quickly into volumes and allowed me to animate different concepts and configurations to, to compare them. This is very useful for testing any kind of gesture and also to visualize the ergonomics proposal. Having explored and validated the product architecture and defined interior components, the build of specification is mature enough to start working on the overall shape of Nestor. Given its features and its premium positioning, Nestor draws inspiration from urban architecture and the concept of digital core. So, a powerful and connected device, that was the definition of Nestor at this stage. This creation phase is one of the most exciting in Katia because modeling is extremely fluid. Starting from a primary volume, you can directly explore and sculpt in 3D like virtual clay until the results satisfy me. At this stage, the 3D drawing is still accessible to naturally modify the 3D volume. Once the exterior design is validated, it is necessary to get accurate, high-quality surfaces. For this, I use the mechanical and shape designer role. In this one, there is a generative shape design application which can create parametric surfaces ready for production. It allows me to build the final geometry of the parts from the design shapes, adding the necessary thickness and taking into account system assembly. Manufacturing process constraints are taken into account from the design phase. 
Then I model all technical parts uh, and components with part design application, like the video projector the, with the lens, the carry lens, the motor with the stator, the rotor, the housing, the screws, or the different tools, the knife uh, or the cover, for example. The natural shape application is then extremely useful to make changes in volume parts. It brings ease of use to perform some operation late in the design process, such as the logo on the tool holder, for example. The idea was to use specific CATIA applications depending on path typology, the type of materials and their manufacturing process. It is now time to link all the different parts of Nestor and configure the mechanism. To position and maintain in position, the Mechanical System Design app allows to define mechanical connections between components. Then, it was possible to define, for example, the revolute join associated with the rotation of the drive shaft, the assembly of the components of the ball, and the path of the tool support. Then, I could directly simulate the kinematics of my product. Of course, it is essential during the creation of a new product to communicate visually. Katia offers embedded realistic rendering app with Katia Live Rendering. It allowed me to produce high-end renderings directly from my design data. In direct visualization, it is possible to see directly the impact of light on surfaces on which the material was applied. It is interesting to see the product at different angles, but also in different environments. Each environment has its own lighting and its own reflections. Many settings can be modified in the materials, texture, bump, color, roughness, emissivity and reflectivity. Mm -hmm.